Okay, how to set up a GM Drake motor. Okay, here's the motor. This is a good example. This is a 500 watt motor. Uh, you have three wires that come off it and a five way plug. Okay? So, the next thing you, first thing you'd want to do is hook that to your controller. Okay, here's the GM controller. Here's the plug. Plug that into there. Now, unfortunately, with these trike motors, it's not quite together yet, but you get the idea. With the trike motors, GM didn't uh, put bullet connectors on these three leads here. But they are green, yellow, and blue. And on here, you've got green, yellow, and blue. So all you would do is you would just clip those off, clip off these bullet connectors, twist these with the appropriate colors together, and solder it, tape it up, and that's it. That's your connection to the motor, to the controller. Now to get the controller to function, the most basic thing of all that you would need is to get the controller hooked up. There's a throttle kit. It's just a throttle action, levers. Okay, here we have a thumb throttle. Okay, so the thumb throttle three-way plug or three-prong plug. It just plugs into the three-prong block plug in here. It's one way or the other. There we go. And then there's the yellow plug. It goes on to the yellow plug. It doesn't get more basic than that. And then if we had battery power, there's a red and a black lead here that go to the battery. There's the red. There's the black, you hook that to the two leads of your battery. And the lights would come on in the throttle, and you turn this, and the motor would spin. Now, if you want to go a little further into it, you have a two button switch. It's got a green plug. Remarkably enough, it goes into the green plug on here. It's kind of a little bit of an off green, so almost like a blue. But that's it. Okay, so with that you have two buttons. Now your horn would work and your cruise control. Now if you want to use cruise control, you definitely should have the brake levers. At least one of them anyway. And the brake levers cut the motor out when you're on cruise, which is very important because in a panic situation, you may want to stop and you got to be able to kick out the cruise control. So anyway, this is the dark blue plug. I'm just looking here. Where is the blue plug? Well, let's see, one of them says break. Here it is. Oh, it's purple now. Oh, look at that. Blue goes to purple. But it is labeled on there. Break. You can only see part of the label, but... And, uh, there you go. You also have a foot brake that would work with this, too. Okay, that's it. So, now you've got the motor hooked up to the controller, and then you've got cruise and a horn, you've got your throttle, and you've got brake levers.